And we are back on the screen team here on today's talk, 930 KWOC. It's our special hour-long edition of the show. We've already reviewed Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Mr. Holmes, and we are getting ready to review a movie I've been excited about for the past couple of years. It's called The Peanuts Movie. And, of course, this is an animated film that features all your favorite Charles Schultz characters. you got Charlie Brown, Linus, Sally, uh, Lucy, and, of course, my all-time favorite, Snoopy. You can't go wrong with Snoopy. Um, this film was released a couple of weeks ago. It's uh, currently number two at the uh, box office and uh, still doing its thing. Uh, Sabrina, what were your thoughts here on uh, the Peanuts film? Well, it was very colorful. It was very modernized. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I was I was a little bit impressed with the animation the 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 visibility of the animation there were it was it was done almost like a 3d context mm-hmm. of, of color and application of the the digital appearance of the characters which kind of like i said modernized them mm-hmm. compared to the original uh, cartoon script uh the the strip mm-hmm. but there were those very iconic symbols and um, the formations of the characters that was so traditional it almost looked like cut out it, it's very hard to describe it kind of had like that South Park look where almost. it's almost that's a very very long stretch of it but at the same time I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not talking about the content of no, South I know, Park I I'm know talk- that <laughs> okay there was just something very unique about it that I haven't seen yet in the cartoon Mm -hmm. animation from the computer aspect. And you you can tell that it's computerized Mm -hmm. as opposed to what we've seen all up until now, which is all the hand-drawn, hand-painted art of animation. So I was was taken by that visibly. Content-wise, I think that it held true to the traditionalist expectations of what the um, Charlie Brown experience should be. It followed it almost like it does in any of the other movies that they've put out as like you have the storyline, little redhead girl moves into town, but then you've always got these little, little side streets that they take as they're getting where they're going. Mm -hmm. It's never a straight shot. It's always like we well, got to go through the Red Baron stories, and then you've got to go through the Linus and his blanket, and you got to go through Snoopy on the ice. And it's like they took every one of the most popular peanuts. scenarios, peanuts, narratives, scenarios, narratives, and then combined them into one movie. Right. So, do they have anything left? Is there anywhere <laughs> else they can go to make with a it? sequel? And I doubt that. Well, they're. I mean, this movie's making a lot of money, so. <laughs> Somebody, so, somebody's so, going to ask for a sequel. So if they do, it's it's got to be new content. Okay. And I'm a little nervous about that. Like, okay. I'm afraid they're going to disappoint me if they do it again. Yeah. I was afraid this was going to disappoint me. I really didn't have high expectations. I love the marketing aspect of it and that they're getting Snoopy and the character and the gang mm-hmm. all out there for a new generation. Yeah. I love that. It's overdue. So much so that I'm afraid that the 20-somethings out there aren't going to get it. I think they missed it. I think they took so long in bringing Snoopy back into the hearts of people that there's a generation of people out there that's going to go, this movie sucked. And one of those people was your your goddaughter. Yeah, who's 20-something. She's 20-something. She she took her little boy to to go see it. And Did she say what what Dayton thought of it? No, she didn't. But Uh, but but she she, definitely said said what she thought of it. She said what she thought. She goes, it was kind of boring. Mm -hmm. They went in so many different directions. I'm like, stick to a plot. You know, and I think, well, okay, that's a fair fair thing if you're not used to, um, you know, experiencing the craziness of the peanut style. Right. And I would agree with her, too. I, I love this movie, but I love it because I love the characters. I love it because I love the situations of the characters. And But I could also see why somebody might think this movie's slow or boring or not exciting enough for them. Uh, you know, we saw this with a, a bunch of, uh, you know, little kids in, in the theater during the day. And I didn't hear a lot of kids 
laughing at it, but I'd heard a lot of grown-ups Grown laughing, at, laughing it. at it. Mm-hmm. Um, so you might be right. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe the, the, the newer generation needs to get accustomed again to, to Charlie Brown and, and to Snoopy and, and some of these folks to, to really kind of, you know, get back into it. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of Easter eggs in there. If, if you followed, uh, Charlie Brown and the Peanuts gang from, you know, the Christmas short to the Halloween short to, you know, everything in between, there's a lot of those Easter eggs that uh, are in this come film. Come home, Snoopy, come home, which is one of my favorites. Yeah. No dogs allowed. Yeah. There's, there's things that they didn't do, you know, like that, but they did say no dogs allowed. And, right. and, you know, Snoopy is constantly trying to find his way into stuff. And, <laughs> right. But it. It's a fun movie, and I can see us having it. Oh, we're going to have it. You know, because we collect Snoopy stuff, and we, we are fans of the whole institution. Mm-hmm. I think that younger kids are just going to love all the stuff that's out there more than the movie. You mean like the merchandising? Yeah. Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, I think to? they're going to love the merchandise more than they're going to love the movie. So I'm not... I've never had to say that before. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can see parents saying, oh, I'm going to do your room in Snoopy. Yeah, I love Snoopy. I love Snoopy. But I don't want to watch that movie again. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Luke saying that. Uh-huh. I can too. Um, I, I don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying this. But if you don't want to hear my next comment. Uh, Three, two, two <laughs> and one. Charlie Brown at the very end of this film kind of wins. Did you find that discouraging, or did you? What were your thoughts on on the ending of this film? I think that um, the industry, known as the Peanuts Gang, finally got politically correct. <laughs> and, 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 and letting I think him that's win. An influence. Mm-hmm. I think they felt like if it was going to be a major motion picture, he needed to set a good example. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. And he and, and, and he win gets at a something. Win. And he gets a win. Yeah. Now, I don't think that's entirely the case with the past. I think that that's part of what drove the comic strip. You don't have a comic strip for very long if your if your main character gets his win. Right. I mean, that was sort of what was going on. It was always Charlie Brown, you blockhead, you did it again. <laughs> How many ways can one kid have bad luck? Yeah. That was the the whole thing. Um Yeah, I he gets a win. So that's why I was like, but, but, uh, if but, we but, go in a new, if we go with more movies, they're going to have to take it in a new direction. Mm-hmm. Did it bother you though? Oh no. Okay. No, I I thought it set a great example. I was glad to see it, and that's yeah. not very often that I get I jump on board with the hey, let's be politically correct and and show our kids that you know there's no such thing as failure. Well, right. there is such a thing as failure, but in this particular case, the win he gets has more to do with character than it does achievement. But it also has to do with some a lot of his failures too. Yes. You know? So um, Again, his character. Potato potato. <laughs> All right. I'm right. <laughs> but I like the film too. I like the ending and um I hope a lot of other folks in there like it as well. It's called The Peanuts Movie. All right, so we've got a special hour long edition of the show. We're done with the first half hour. Moving on to the second hour, we're going to be joined by uh, a couple of cats. You know them, uh, Kim Scott and Carly Scott. Oh, They'll be mercy. in next. <laughs> we'll be reviewing another animated film called Hotel Transylvania 2. We'll also be doing a movie called Tomorrowland, and Sabrina's super uber-duber excited about The Visit. That's in the next half hour of the Screen Team, right here on today's Talk 930 KWOC.